This restaurant is called Golden Corral and I'm gonna eat here. I just know they're calling me a cow. I mean, I do have three stomachs, but that doesn't define me. Guys, today I'm gonna be eating at Golden Corral. It's an all you can eat buffet and I'm gonna try to try as many things as I possibly can. I am gonna be filming in the restaurant because that's the only way you can eat at a buffet really, you know what I mean? So I'm a little nervous. I have only filmed in two places, Ikea and Whole Foods, right? And at Whole Foods, I was confronted by someone. They were like, are you filming me? I was like, no, the camera's pointing at me, queen. Oh yeah, it is, it's a camera. And not of you, just of me. I'm just gonna find a little corner, sit in the back, mind my business, and film my video. I'm very pumped about it. Of course, I'm gonna review everything and give you my honest opinion. I taste tested Golden Corral. Like, I did like a takeout thing at my house a couple years ago, but I only tried a few things, to be honest, and I haven't actually eaten in a Golden Corral in so many years. So I'm really hyped about it. It isn't the most classy facility, but <laughs> that's perfect because I'll fit right in, right? Now today has been kind of irritating. I drove all the way to my local Golden Corral. It's about 20 minutes away. And Google said that it was open, like period. It was fully open, but I get there and it's covered in construction. Like it was definitely not open. So I was like, okay, I still want to eat at Miss Golden Corral. So I looked up the next closest location and it's in a city called Florida City, about an hour from my house. So I drove all the way to Florida City, y'all. There it is. It says Golden Corral, but it looks like it says Old Decor. Anyways, before I start eating, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. I taste test new fast foods. I eat at buffets. I review hotels. It's a great time here. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It really helps support my channel and I'm eating in public for you guys. And I'm nervous, so give me a thumbs up, please. I need the support. <sighs> I can smell the gold and the corral. Ooh, stinky. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Um, I'll just take lunch. I'm in a drink. Okay. Oh, looks good. Love desserts. Oh, those rolls look so good. Delicious. Oh my god, they have tacos. Oh, you guys know I love tacos. Okay, so I'm here. I just took a bunch of footage of the actual buffet. It's so crowded and I'm really nervous to take out my tripod. It's like really crowded. Well, it isn't super crowded, but like there's just a lot of people like in every area. There's like no like empty little corner that I wanted. So I'm just gonna relax, chill, it's fine. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna film, I can film right here in this little corner right here. Okay, I'm gonna get my first round of food. I'm gonna try to get like little bites of like a lot of things so I can try the most that I possibly can. Okay, so this is my first plate. I got a piece of chicken, fries, pizza, cornbread, and a little bit of mac and cheese. Okay guys, so I just talked for like five whole minutes and it wasn't even filming. I'm very upset about it. Anyways, I moved tables because that area was so crowded and it was right next to where all the um, waiters get the drinks for people. So they kept coming up to me and being like, what can I get you? And I was like, I don't know. I'm just trying to set my tripod, queen. So I'm now in this little corner, secluded. I'm feeling good about it. Now, sadly, you missed me trying the cornbread. So I'm trying it again. It's fine. Could be sweeter, could be moister. It's a little dry, you know? Um, but it gets the job done. It's not bad cornbread. By the way, this whole meal with the drink was $16. And for a buffet, I feel like that is a decent price, but then again, it's going to come around. As a cow, I feel like that's a fair price, you know? So yeah, the cornbread, I'm giving it like, 
Okay, so the cornbread, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. It's fine. It's good enough, but it's not good. Do you get me? Now, I also tried the fries. And honestly, I don't wanna try anymore, but I will. They just taste stale. They taste like ancient. They taste like this potato was grown in the Sahara Desert, full of sand. And they're just very dry. They don't taste fresh. They taste like they were cooked in oil. But they are salty enough, so there is that. Otherwise, they're not big. No, uh, so I'm gonna give the fries, I think, a two out of 10. They're not good. Okay, now let's try the mac and cheese. So fun fact, back in the day, one of my sisters um, stayed over at her friend's house and they went to Golden Corral and they ate the mac and cheese. <laughs> and they, they both took a trip to Rhea Town and the other city that's north of Rhea Town. You know what I mean? multiple multiple times so i've always been scared to try the golden crown mac and cheese but then again that was back in new mexico i'm in florida that was what 15 years ago so i'm just gonna go for it <laughs> it's not bad but it's definitely questionable it tastes more like macaroni just in thick butter. Like, I don't taste the cheese. There's a buttery, buttery, flaky noodles, you know? I mean, the sauce consistency is fantastic, but the flavor just really is, blah, you know? I see the family right next to me. Like, right next to me, they keep looking at me. I hope I'm not, like, annoying them, but this place is already so loud that I'm like, whatever. Everyone's talking to each other. I'm just talking to myself, you know? Actually, no, I'm talking to my wonderful viewers. The life of an influencer, you know? Now let's try the pizza. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it really is not bad at all. I quite like it. I'm trying to take small bites of everything so I can try tons and tons of stuff, right? That's good. Yeah. I like it. The tomato sauce is really tomatoey and bright. I mean, it tastes like gas station pizza, but like good gas station pizza, you know, like good trash. Right? The pepperonis are fantastic. Better than Costco's pepperonis. I love Costco's food, but Costco's pepperonis were not it last week. Mm-hmm. Mm. I will say, though, of course, it has that processed flavor, but there's also a metallic aftertaste. They're taking pictures together, and I think I'm in the background. <laughs> it's like talking. Thank you. There's a metallic aftertaste that's kind of off pudding but otherwise it's good it's good bad pizza right now let's try the fried chicken so I typically go for the white meat chicken but I didn't want to get like a massive piece of chicken because I'm not gonna eat it all so I got the thigh let's see here Oh, look at me. Mm. Okay. I do not expect this flavor. This quality. You know. That fried chicken is greasy, but it's good. It's really good. It reminds me of KFC, but with more flavor. KFC, like, KFC's not a bad fast food restaurant overall, but their quality, like, in their main fried chicken has really gone downhill. It's always soggy, always greasy, always nasty, and that's the tea. But this, I would say this is better than that. This is very greasy, but at least the skin is crispy. 
or want the, the breading. Seam. Boom. Oh, very oily though. And um, it definitely has a lot of seasonings, a lot of flavor. Okay. Okay. I like it. Okay. Okay, I like it. Also, the chicken on the inside is real juicy. It's not dry at all. So that's definitely a plus. Okay, so did I rate the pizza or the mac and cheese? I haven't been rating anything. The pizza for trashy pizza was a seven out of 10, very strong. The mac and cheese, three out of 10. But if it was buttered noodles, I'd give it like a seven. <laughs> and then um, the fried chicken that was a nice 5.5 out of 10. So, so far the food's pretty but not bad not bad that's for sure okay so i'm gonna go get a second plate of food and then we will continue the taste test i'm gonna leave my drink here and i really hope that no one takes my my seat okay i'm back with round two okay so i got what i think is a hush puppy i'm not totally sure it's cute though right i got a deviled egg Honestly, I don't know why they're not called angel eggs. And then I also got some pot roast. Can you see it? Some pot roast, some yellow rice, a cheeseburger, and a taco. I just put some meat and some cheese in there just to make it quick. So I'm excited. Honestly, I feel like this plate might slay me more, more than the first. Let's first try the taco. Okay. The meat is giving paste. But you guys know I love Taco Bell's Tomrashi seasoned beef paste. Oh my god. Focus. There we go. Okay. Is that better? I think it is, right? This is delicious. Mmm. 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 It's so bad, it's good. I'm shaking right now. I want more of those. Oh, that's like Taco Bell level good. I'm not even joking. <gasps> mm. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. The shell is extremely crispy and it tastes really, really fresh. Almost like it was like fried here. I'm not even joking. It's that good. And then the beef itself has almost a chili flavor to it. Almost a chili flavor to it. And it has like tomato pieces and it's just really salty and flavorful. It tastes like it has a lot of seasonings in there. Amazing beef. And then the cheese is really salty too. So overall it was very salty but like in a good way. And it didn't even need any toppings. That was simplicity at its finest. I loved it so much. Okay. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for the taco. <laughs> Why'd that sound funny? Let's try the hush puppy. Oh, this plate is slang. Oh, I just spit. I'm sorry. Oh my god. It's so. Oh, it's steaming. <laughs> it's like a beauty blender. Oh my god, so good. Mm. I guess, please. Thank you so much. A uh, Diet Coke? Okay, I gotta bring you another Oh, thank you. I always have this fear that people are gonna get mad at me for filming, like the waiters, like if I'm not like allowed to film in here, you know? But she looked at my camera and was just like, do you want a drink? Period. Love that for me.
Thank you so much. Yay. Okay, um, so Hush Puppy was incredible. Ultra crispy. It tasted super, super fresh. The oil didn't taste old. And it just had that classic Hush Puppy flavor. One of the best Hush Puppies I've ever had, honestly. The inside was super moist, super fluffy. The outside was super crispy. An amazing Hush Puppy. 10 out of 10. Once again, the taco and the Hush Puppy were back-to-back -back slays. I'm sure guys. Wowie, wowie, wow. Okay, let's try this yellow rice. Looks simple. Ooh, looks simple. It's fine. Some pieces taste a little overcooked or burnt or something, like, like they're kind of hard. But it has a classic chicken bouillon flavor to it. Not much else going on. Pretty simple. But it's good. It's a good, simple chicken rice. I think it would go well with like some of the meats, like this pot roast, for example. Let's try it. Um, I'm going to give it the rice, I think. A nice 7 out of 10. Pretty strong. Pot roast. Mmm. That's really delicious. I taste like a classic pot roast. It has that nice beef, kind of beef uh, broth flavor to it. Simple and very tender. Also, that was a very lean bite. I didn't, like, there was no fat in there, no, like, gelatinous vibes, nothing. I'm impressed by that. I'm gonna give the pot roast a nice 7.5 out of 10, too. Okay? Now let's try the deviled egg. I have to physically tap on the screen to make it focus today, which is annoying. I'll see. That was dark sided. That was sinister. Um, I paused because right, right when I took a bite, um, the waitress came over and was cleaning the other table. And I like didn't want to spit it out in front of her, but whew, that was rough. <sighs> Intense. This didn't even taste like an egg. It tasted like sweet pudding for some reason. It had like a vanilla pudding flavor to it which was quite horrifying and unexpected. And it almost tasted like bad. I'm not saying it was, okay? Golden crowd, don't come for me. But that's just how it tasted to my palate. And I'm a taste tester, so it's quite refined. Ooh, that gave me the shivers. I'm gonna have to give the deviled egg, I think, a one out of 10? Never again. That's all I'm gonna say. Honestly, the name fits it. You're not being upgraded to up above today, sweetheart. Okay, so this is the cheeseburger. It has nothing on it. Um, you can probably add add stuff to it, but oh my god, the focus is driving me crazy. Focus, please. Oh my gosh. There. Okay, so I didn't add toppings to it because I just felt kind of lazy. Now the shape is quite um meatloafy, right? That's interesting. And yes, thank you so much. And um, yeah, so it has sort of like a Salisbury steak meatloaf shape to it, which is interesting. There's a piece of cheese. It's a pretty thick patty though, so that's fun. And I think it's on a dinner roll. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. Dinner rolls are typically delicious, so let's try it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's an aftertaste. It's giving, ooh. Yeah, the aftertaste is throwing me off a little bit. Ooh, I got shivers again. <gasps> ooh, that was a little rough, guys. That was a little rough for me. So, at first taste, you get it at, at first glance. At first taste, it tastes fine. It, it tastes like a nice backyard charred burger. Simple. Not much going on, but fine, right? But then there's this aftertaste that's 
slightly too meaty, slightly almost fishy, just slightly, like almost oceanic, almost like Moana the sequel. The aftertaste was too strong that it really just kind of took over anything good that came before it, and that's all that I can remember now is that disgusting aftertaste. I'm gonna have to give that burger a one out of 10 too, so. This plate had some highs and some lows. The burger and the deviled egg, well, and disgusting. But the taco and the, um, and the, what's it called? Not tater tot, um, hush puppy. Fantastic. Well, I think it's time for dessert. I'm gonna get a big plate of tons of desserts. It's gonna be a lot of fun, let's go. Okay, so I changed the focus settings and I hope that they're working now correctly. But I got desserts, hello. So I think I got, I think this is cheesecake, I think. Got this little <laughs> Rice Krispie chocolate thingy. Pumpkin pie, you guys know I love pumpkin pie so much. <gasps> I think it's working. I think the focus is back to normal, is it? No, kind of. I also got a churro and a brownie right here. So. <laughs> Let's first try the pumpkin pie, you guys know. I love pumpkin pie so much. Let's see that texture. Ooh. It's almost good. Almost. It's like pumpkin pie's fake sister. No one likes her, but they tolerate her. This is very much that. What's cream? That's good. But yeah, the pumpkin pie tastes like another pie pretending to be pumpkin pie. It's like, I hope no one notices, but we notice, girl. The texture is very accurate to pumpkin pie, but the flavor's not. It does have a strong cloves flavor, but it doesn't have the cinnamony, nutmeggy flavor that pumpkin pie usually has. You know, it's not a bad pie. I'm still enjoying it, but it just doesn't feel like real pumpkin pie. The crust is nice, though. It's buttery, flaky crust. So we love that. But otherwise, I just feel like it could be so much better. So I'm gonna give the pumpkin pie a 4.5 out of 10. Okay, let's try the churro. Oh. Mm. That really, I got the shippers again. That really tastes like um, a guy just looked at me like in a really angry way and it scared me. Um, that just really tastes like a little fried piece of oil. It tastes like fried oil. <laughs> That's how oily it tastes. It's totally soaked in, in oil to the point where like when you bite into it, it's, it's like kind of wet, you know? It tastes like gold oil, and it really doesn't have anything else going on. The cinnamon sugar flavor is so light that the oil just kind of takes over, and that's all that you can taste. So, ugh. also, it was very tough to chew. Just a bad churro. Bad churro. I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10. That's rough, girl. Let's try this brownie. Very cakey. Mm. <laughs> um, I really liked it. <laughs> Fantastic. It tastes like a little Debbie cosmic brownie meets a box brownie. The best of both worlds put together. And I love both of those, even though they're super processed. You know, I love them. It's chewy, yet cakey at the same time somehow. I'm not sure how, but it works. Um, mm, I made this whole thing. Mmm. Oh. And I think it's so distracting. It just has that classic budget brownie flavor. It's not too chocolatey, it isn't too rich, but that frosting right on top adds the perfect amount of extra richness. It works. I think honestly that's just like chocolate cake frosting just put on top. That's what it tastes like to me, like from the little container, you know, like a Pillsbury one or something like that. 
but it works. It's like a chocolate cake meets a chocolate brownie meets a cosmic brownie. I loved it. That's a 10 out of 10 to me. Even if it's real processed, I loved it so much. So now let's try this Rice crispy situation type deal. Uh, Golden Corral is such a roller coaster because I'll be slayed by something and then disgusted by something else. That had a weird vibe. Something was off. She needed some help. Something wasn't working. The Rice crispy itself tasted fine. It tasted like any store-bought Rice crispy, but that chocolate dip tasted weird. It just tasted, it didn't taste like chocolate. It tasted kind of sour, like sour chocolate. That's the best way that I can describe it. That's it, and I like it. I really didn't, it didn't work for me. Thank you. It was just, it was too weird. You know what, there was almost an acidity to it. Acidic chocolate? That doesn't sound good to me, right? So I didn't like that. Now last but not least, let's try this cheesecake, okay? See that? Oh my gosh, I got the shivers again. What is happening? Ooh. I'm just trying not to make faces because I'm in public. I don't want to be rude. But that was this cold. It just kind of tasted like cold, milky eggs. I didn't taste any cheesecake vibes. It did have like a sourness to it, but not in a cream cheese way, in like a rotten way, you know? It just has such a strong eggy flavor. It's like scrambled egg pie, basically, with a hint of sourness and sweetness. <laughs> Sweet and sour egg pie. Would you like a boy? I will say that the crust was pretty nice. I mean, from what I could taste underneath all that egginess, it was fine, but wow, I, I, I did not like that. I really did not like that. I think I'm done eating. I'm very full. Well, there she is. Oh, thumbnail. That was an experience. And I am grateful that no one got mad at me. Um, everyone was... I mean, I got some stares. Like, this, like, one guy kept on glaring at me. But it's fine, you know? That's just the name of the game. I just always make sure that I'm very respectful of people. And I never, like, want to film them. Because what if they don't want to be filmed? That's totally fine. Right? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this video. Um, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Love you so much. Bye.